Salutations and welcome to Kirby Plays Games. This is Seven Days to Die, and we are back for another episode of the Death Battle Exhibition Series. For this matchup, we are bringing in one of the most dangerous spawns in the game, and pitting them against an entire horde of zombies. That's right folks, today in the arena we are going to have Grace herself square off against a horde of 25 zombies, and we're going to see who comes out on top. In one corner, we have Gracie, the mother of all boars. With a massive 2,000 hit points and weighing in at roughly 3,000 pounds, she is one powerful pig. And today, she is hoping to bring home all the bacon. In the other corner, we have 25 of your run-of-the-mill zombie. But what they lack in individual stats, they make up for in numbers. Weighing in at 150 pounds each, and with 150 hit points per zombie, they have a total hit point pool of 3,750. Please welcome the Zombie Horde. Who will be victorious? We're gonna find out right now. First, we're going to spawn in Gracie. And then, we're going to check spawn 25, and we're gonna go to regular Zombie Joe. Spawn some of those in. Oh, and Gracie has engaged. Now the key here is going to be uh, if all of these zombies start hitting Gracie at once, she is going to be in trouble. But if she can just pick them off kind of one at a time, uh, she might have a pretty good shot here. It looks like she's already taken out one. A lot of these zombies look like they are much more interested in escaping than actually engaging with Gracie. So she is just going to town on them. Now when I first, uh, when I first sort of thought about this, I honestly thought, you know, how's Gracie gonna pull this off? They've got double her hit points. And I think the answer to that is, will they actually work together and attack her, or will they just keep running into the wall? Um, as you can see, a few zombies have gone down. We're gonna switch perspectives here. So that they do come in, they do take some swings at her, but usually it doesn't seem to be until after she's already... Oh my gosh, an arm explodes! Uh, yeah, until, you know, she's already started attacking them. So once they're hit by her, they do seem to become uh, aggro to her. But, oh my gosh, she is just wrecking them. Look at this. And we are not seeing very much teamwork from the zombies here. We have two zombies that are going to come in together. And I thought they were going to, to aggro on her. But no. And she does have the knockdown too. But yeah, she is just chewing these zombies up. This is not at all what I expected to happen, folks. I really expected, uh, you know, more teamwork from the zombies. It seems like we're not having more than one or two of them attack her at a time. Which I think means that, despite them having just, like, way more hit points overall, like, as a group, I think that Gracie might pull this one out just because they are not attacking her together. This is interesting in the coding, because it's almost like, uh, you know, they don't see Gracie as a threat, but Gracie is more than willing to engage with them and pick them off one at a time. That was a nice, nice little spin there from that zombie. And they're only managing to get a couple hits in uh, before Gracie just finishes them off. I, let's see, how many zombies do we have left? Out of the 25 zombies that we spawned, we have about... Six still standing, and I don't I do not think this is looking good for the zombies Gracie is just going to town Here we got a couple zombies here who seem to be aggroed We're gonna give Gracie a little poke and just looking at the size of her too. Oh my gosh Gracie taking a little bit of a break before engaging with another zombie that's very reasonable. You catch your breath there. Yeah, it looks like these zombies did not stand a chance. And, uh, it seems like we have a zombie that has 
sort of walk through Gracie there. We got a zombie pig hybrid going on. And not sure how much longer it's gonna take for, uh, oh, there she goes again. Yeah, it looks like Gracie's gonna have no trouble clearing this up. And the remaining combatants near each other. Grace is looking awfully confident as this zombie walks right into her path and is immediately knocked over. He doesn't even get a hit on her. And so Gracie, you are the winner of this event. And as is tradition, we're gonna get you your chicken dinner. It was such a such a big win, you know what? You know what, Gracie? You can have 25 chicken dinners. Perfect. And the chickens immediately scatter. They do not want to be eaten by Gracie, although Gracie does not seem as though well she has any interest in these chickens. Um, and just something I'm curious about, you know? This might make the episode run like a bit longer than we expected, but uh, I just want to up the stakes a bit, you know? And I don't know if I want to do it in a completely separate episode. Uh, we'll keep the chickens in here. It might be a bit noisy. But uh, let's go ahead and throw in uh, 25 feral zombie soldiers. And we'll see how she does with that. Boom. Okay. Now because these are feral uh, zombie soldiers... They are going to have a few more hit points. In particular, each of these zombie soldiers has 285 hit points. And it looks like they are actually managing a bit more teamwork. Uh, we have two presently swatting at Gracie. Uh, Gracie is going to town on one, but she's having a much harder time taking him down. Okay, so one goes down, and oh wow, yeah, they are ganging up on Gracie. We got three zombie soldiers on her right now. Oh jeez, I don't know if Gracie's gonna pull this one out. Gracie may have met her match, and I know we did not refresh Gracie before we put her through this, but she seems to be doing just fine all by herself. So we are staggering this a bit, but basically this is going to be Gracie versus 50 zombies. A horde of 50 zombies. Uh, half of them being your run-of-the-mill zombies, and the other half being these feral soldiers, which she is just wrecking right now. Doing a great job pivoting between combatants. Uh, the uh, zombie soldiers are also going to have a bit of a speed advantage here. They can run at her once they get her in their targeting. That teamwork that we saw earlier sort of going out the window here uh, as Gracie squares off with them one at a time once again. The chickens running around in the background, just having a good old time. Now this is where Gracie has to be careful because if she starts multi-hitting them, uh, she could get a whole bunch of them after her, and that's not going to be a good situation for Gracie. A little bit of a charge there. Zombie charges forward also. Well, we got a knockdown and a finish. Oh, and we've got a zombie just riding up... Uh, just jumping onto Gracie's back, giving her a ride. This zombie pushes Gracie back into the corner. And uh, these zombie soldiers are having a much better time. They're actually getting quite a few hits in before they're taken out. Uh, Gracie's still seeming to maintain the upper hand, though, as she picks them off one by one. Uh, picking her fights here, not taking off... Not taking on more zombies at a time then she can man it. Oh no, Gracie! Gracie, no! They finally get to her. So it looks like the uh, the deciding factor here was that she wasn't able to take them out before they were able to get hits on her. And because they're feral, they are going to be doing a bit more damage. Uh, so there are plenty of chickens here, so all the zombie soldiers can have their chicken dinners. Looks like a few, <laughs> a few of them are trying to escape by making a... Uh, 
zombie totem pole. Uh, Gracie, you had a great run. You really showed what you were capable of and couldn't be more proud of you. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode of the Death Battle Exhibition Series. Um, we're going to call this uh, Gracie can definitely beat 25 normal zombies. Uh, but when you throw in some ferals, uh, she's going to have a rough go. But who wouldn't have a rough go against 25 ferals? So hopefully you folks enjoyed that, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have an excellent day.